Keep a tight lid on enterprise data with DLP. Data loss prevention, or DLP, is a strategy to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data using a variety of techniques and tools. DLP keeps sensitive data safe and companies compliant with data security standards. We'll discuss the importance of DLP and some best practices. To learn more about DLP's role in a broader data protection strategy, click the link above or in the description. Data loss is an inconvenience at best, but means an irreparable hit to business and customer retention and even criminal penalties at worst. The main causes of data loss in an enterprise include accidental deletion, data migration, accidental overwrite, external hackers or malware, and malicious network insiders. To prevent data leaks and breaches, DLP software performs these three core functions. Monitoring data coming in and out of the corporate network, sending alerts when it detects suspicious activity, and blocking sensitive data from leaving the network. It's challenging to execute these functions consistently because cyber threats are constantly evolving and enterprise networks are becoming increasingly complex. There are many ways enterprise data can be lost and a breach can be very costly. To keep data from being leaked or lost, organizations should follow these five DLP best practices inventory on their networks and the data on them, classify the data based on type and sensitivity, DLP software can automate this step with artificial intelligence, establish data handling and remediation practices, which are important when demonstrating compliance with data security regulations like GDPR and CCPA, implement a centralized DLP program for every department to prevent inconsistencies and to take a unified approach, and train employees to comply with the DLP program. Unintended errors often cause data breaches, so education is important. How does your organization prevent data loss and leakage? Did we miss any key pointers? Let us know in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe.